hits too. That one-two hook was nasty by him, a boxer. Putting T2 on his butt, and there it is again. That one-two is money. Oh! Baby, there you go, boxer. Get that working. What a knockdown. He's put on the pressure right now. Look, he's got a fake down. There it is. I knew it. And he's down. Oh! Oh! Welcome to another UFC 3 video. And today, we got some advanced high-level striking meta for you as we faced off against one of the best guys in the entire world goat 1099 at the time of this recording he was ranked number 14 in the world in ranked championships he's also a professional champion for ufc3 esfl fight league and we had a tough fight on our hands to say the least now i hope everyone is enjoying a nice 2019 as we bring in the new year i worked really hard on this video got some extra special video techniques that i'm working on and i want you guys to stick around at the end of this fight we got some bonus content that i think you guys may enjoy without further ado let's get right into the fight all right go 1099 headlines a lot of professional ufc3 bouts over at esfl as you can see the headliner is always GOAT, GOAT, GOAT is at the top and has been champion time after time. And not only is he the, one of the best in the professional scene in ESFL, he is number 14 in the world at the time of this fight in ranked championships. GOAT 1099. And here's this fight right now between myself and GOAT 1099. I'm in the red gloves with Jacare. Goat 1099 is in the blue gloves with Israel Adiasanya. And he's going to the body early and often. So I got to watch my body and to return strikes of my own. Now, this little dance that we're doing going in and out, this is a common fighting game terminology, footsies, wherever you're trying to establish your distance so you can gauge what strikes you can throw at the proper distance. And Goat has some amazing combos. This is like a double level changing uppercut that I usually don't see. So you're going to see a lot of amazing combinations by one of the best guys to ever do it. There he is going to that body, eating away at the body. And I'm focusing on that, but I can't leave my head open. But Goat is the master at staying away from range and attacking and changing his level. So I have to really guard my face and my body at the same time now i'm inching up slowly but he gets against the cage and then finally i'm able to land the combination right there giving up that real estate I, and so because he's backing up i'm thinking he's setting up something big now because of that i'm on my guard and i'm sidestepping and that's going to evade everything down the middle just to be a little bit more safer now i turned off the commentary now listen to this i usually don't hear this so i listened and i went head body and then i got hit back but that got my wheels spinning you never pay attention to the corner and without all of that commentary i was able to uncover a different part of the game that actually kind of helped me out throughout this fight i was listening to my corner and they was able to determine and that's those side steps again man they're so sweet float like a butterfly and then sting like a bee right there so man i needed everything at my disposal just to hang in with the first round we go and look at those planet shots that he landed I mean, look at these combinations coming out. I've commentated a lot of GOAT 1099's fights and landed a huge uppercut there with the 92 power from Jacare Souza. He's more than sufficient. There it is. Now I'm getting my body shots off. Now after I throw a combination, I'm looking to see what he's going to do because I'm planted. And if he's coming forward or throwing something, then I'm going to throw my strikes. So I threw two combinations in a row. And that really started a lot of damage right there. You hear the music coming up. So I must be feeling good. Another uppercut landed. Some more side steps against the best. And I'm listening to my corner. You can hear him in the background. 
And a lot of times you get sloppy at the end of a round and you give it up to some of the best guys in the world. And this one, I just stayed safe and got a cheap shot in there. I learned from my guy, MMA game, keep going after the bell. And Israel out of Yasanya and Goat doesn't seem like that's, they like that too much. But I have to get down and dirty in a fight like this against the best in the world because I haven't forgot. He's fighting GOAT 1099, and that is a past champion. His movement, the way he utilizes his stamina so well. But I mean, he's just the master of range. He's one of the best fighters in the history of the game. The pressure is on right now. We may have won round one, not really sure, but we know the meta. Things are established. We know the game plans. Now it's just time to implement. Can we beat one of the best in the world in ranked championships? Doing more of the same, figuring out this is now, if you whip a shot, especially down low, your head is wide open. So you wanna look out for that. And there's some more of those planet shots. Those really do a lot more damage than moving shots. They're harder to land, but they really start your opponent can land those planet shots got a nice right hook on goat and i feel like israel adiasanya is slowing down just a little bit i'm able to make him miss and then tag the body every now and then and look at this right here boom we get our first huge rock and I don't go crazy because you can gas out. I've seen a lot of people gas out in championship fights against GOAT. So anytime that you rock your opponent, you don't want to just go all out and just gas out because you can end up hurting yourself. So I'm still staying in the fight. Now GOAT is pushing forward here with these side kicks, which pushes your opponent away. But I need to work forward. A circle to my left and boom, I got another rock in the side to go for the block break and get it. And that's all she wrote. Goat went to sleep. We put a blanket on him. A special goat blanket on him. And somehow we've done it. We've imagined to beat one of the best in the game, number 14 in the world. Shout out to my opponent, Goat1099. Looking forward to fighting you again. Thanks for an amazing fight. All right, here looking at that replay, I went for the head kick, the block break. So after your opponent eats a couple of shots and his block is low, you have a decision. Are you going to throw that head kick, go up high? If my opponent had a duck, it would left me very vulnerable. And I would have been vulnerable to get knocked out. But I went for it, got the win. All right, so man, that feels really good to finally get a win against one of the best guys in the world. Got around 23 points for that. And as you can see, I got the stuns and the knockdowns. Goat actually got me in significant strikes. And there it is, got the championship from one of the best Okay, the we world. got some bonus content that I promise you guys, we got two clips from two big names. The first one is one of my favorite YouTubers, MMA Game, where we had a third fight that was not discussed. We got a clip from that. Then, we got a clip from another huge name, also a UFC 3 professional champion, Swiss LeBix, who is always at the top of the leaderboards, who is determined never to let me win a fight against him. So without further ado, let's check these clips out. Up first, we got the man, the legend, MMA Games. Caught him using Clay Guida. I got Jose Aldo throwing some crazy combinations. Had to handle business. He is out of it. He MMA is game, my favorite YouTuber. Go check him out. He got some amazing content. Good fight. Looking forward to the next one. The next blanket match. All right, right here, we got another professional UFC 3 player, Swiss LeBix, former ESFL champion. So I finally oh. caught up with him with a huge right hand. That's it. He's out. He dropped the two. Wow. Shout out to Swiss LeBix. 
one of the best guys in the game also. Thanks for that fight, buddy. I want to invite everybody to join the I'm a Boxer Gaming Discord. We got ranks over there for top people that participate in chat. If you have a channel and you want to broadcast it, it's over there. We got games, Coin Master, Jobs Bot, and we got a lot of different roles. So come join us over there at the I'm a Boxer Gaming Discord. Thank you guys for 16,000 subscribers coming up on 17,000. If you learn anything in this video, you liked it, please help your boy out and share and like the video and please subscribe. Until next time, man, this has been fun. Peace.